Okay, class. After understanding the definition and different types of warping, let us look at the effects of warping on the landscape on relief. If there is down warping or up warping on the landscape on relief, which major physical features do we like to have? Number one, formation of a plateau. A plateau is a flat topped hill. If there is up warping, a flat topped hill may end up being formed, which we have called a plateau. Then we have formation of a basin. A basin is an extensive depression on earth's surface. It is a U-shaped depression on earth's surface. And this happens majorly because of downy warping. An illustration for a U-shaped depression or a basin. This is how it looks like. This is a basin formed as a result of downy warping. And when it is filled with water, it forms a basin lake. Examples of basin lakes we have in Africa, we have Lake Chadi, Lake Victoria, Muhazi, etc. Then, uh, examples of basins themselves. If they are not filled with water, they are dry basins. We have Congo Basin, Chad Basin, and we have basins like Amazon Basin. And here we are again repeating that when a basin is filled with water, it forms a basin lake. Then effect number three, we have formation of a plain. A plain is a flat area that is located on a lowland. It's a flat area, a lowland area. Then formation of anticlines and synclines. When there is upwarping, anticlines are formed. Anticlines are hills, they are hills on a folded landscape. Then synclines are valleys on a folded landscape. Thank you.